Logan's gonna show us how to clean and press this thing. Sand filled. So it's gonna move once. He's gonna lap it, it'll go up to the shoulder. It's all gonna shift once and then it'll be pro relatively stable. If it's water filled, you can imagine that that load gets pretty dynamic, especially as you're getting up overhead. It's sketchy, but that's the fun part. So Logan is gonna squat down. He's gonna have it right up against his toes, arms straight. We're gonna deadlift it to the lap position. We squat down. We've been here before, okay? We want the keg above the chest. He's got one hand up top and he's got one hand reaching out in front. Which one? Totally up to you. But with his right hand out in front, that means he has to go to his right shoulder. With that right hand out in front, we have to go to the right shoulder because this side of the keg is gonna end up behind him. So he's gonna load up his hamstrings and he's gonna roll and rotate the keg 90 degrees. Let's do that again. Roll it up and rotate it 90 degrees. One more time. I want you to watch his right hand come off the keg and grab it on the side. You guys follow that? From this position, we shift the left hand around, lean way back, point the chin up, look at, straight at the sky, stack that keg, elbows underneath the wrist. He uses his chin as a third point of contact and from here it's dip, drive, and press. One more time, uses that chin, dip, drive, press. Okay, so again, we lap it, wrap it up, one hand out in front, rotate it, reach around, stack the elbows, and press.